Welcome back. There is nothing like that first sip of great cup. Of, excuse me, I can't speak. I'm so excited. There is nothing like that first sip of a great cup of coffee or espresso. But if you've never or ever tried to make one at home, like the pros do, you know it is not as easy as it looks. In fact, Larissa just purchased a whole setup for her fiance, and it turns out <laughs> it's not as simple as learning, you know, to fly a spaceship. Yeah. That's about as easy as it gets. Yeah. But I really loved his artwork this morning. Yes, my, um, my fiance. <laughs> so thankfully, Tom from Crema Coffee Roasters is here to teach us all the tips and tricks. Thank you so much for yeah. saving us and Daniel. Yeah, making espresso well is like me trying to talk today. It just <laughs> doesn't go well all the Fair time. Enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I think a lot of people feel that way. So that's very normal. Thank yeah. you. Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. But first, let's talk about your Brentwood location. Yeah. Brand new, gorgeous on the inside and outside. We have some photos to show. It is so modern and sleek. Hard to get a table in there because it always is so packed. So tell us everything. Yeah. So we. Just just opened uh, this past summer, fall-ish. Um, it's our third location. It was a really kind of scary, chaotic road to get there, but we're finally <laughs> open and we're very happy. It's our largest location. We've got a full kitchen in the back, so we have a larger food menu. Uh, we've got two espresso machines, so we have twice the capacity. Um, but yeah, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun and, and it's been doing really well. We actually met there yes. after Larissa, when she was coming back from maternity leave, all us ladies from Local On 2, we were like, all right, let's meet up. Yeah. Crema, Brentwood, done, let's go. And awesome. the food is phenomenal it's too. Really it really the is. The sandwiches, the salads, you guys got a little bit of everything yeah. and everything I've tried there is excellent. Very and excellent. a total vibe. Okay, so for those who may have splurged for an espresso maker <laughs> for the holidays and they're struggling, what's the first start? How do how do we get into it? What do we need to know? So the, the first thing to know about espresso is that there's a lot of things you can worry about, and we're going to try to not worry about all those things, okay, right? So okay. simplify, standardize, try to reduce the amount of variables you're, you're thinking about, right? Okay. So obviously, fresh beans from a local roaster that are delicious. <laughs> um, blends are really easy to work with. Um, Colombian, Brazilian, anything kind of you're familiar with, just drinking a cup of coffee. Just think about espresso as a concentrate, right? So if you've had a cup of it and you liked it, you'll probably like it as espresso. Okay, um, so you don't have to get espresso beans. No, so there's actually no such thing as an espresso bean. Any coffee in the world can come through this machine and make espresso. There are just certain coffees that taste better as espresso, right. but ah. you can use anything you like, right? So if Mine. you find a blend that you like drinking every day, try it on espresso and it might be pretty good. Okay, right? okay, great. Um, next step. Yeah, so the next step is setting a ratio or a recipe, and this is where a lot of people get kind of confused. But if you focus on just using the same standard every time, then you won't get lost and try to figure out, well, what did I do last time? How did it change this, this shot now? So what we tend to use is it's called a one to two ratio, right? And the idea is that you take a dose of coffee that your machine will tell you, right? 18 grams is pretty standard. So you take 18 grams of coffee and you're trying to get 36 grams of liquid espresso out of that, right? 18 times two is 36. Okay. Stick with that. Pull shots until you feel like you've got it. And if you want to change that later, you can you can adjust. But just stay with a one to two ratio and you, you're at a good starting point. Okay. Um, so once you've got your ratio set, then what we're trying to do is brew between 20 and 30 seconds. All espresso should brew between 20 and 30 seconds. If it's not, something is wrong. And what we're going to focus on is your grind size. And that is the most important part of, of brewing espresso, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, okay, think about two funnels, right? One full of sand and one full of gravel. Mm -hmm. You pour a gallon of water through each and you measure what comes out after 30 seconds. Well, in that gravel, there's a lot of channels. The water can move very fast and free. It's not going to stay in contact and you're going to under extract, which means you're going to get sour, salty notes, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So a fast moving shot, your grind is too coarse. Uh, again, so if it comes out under 20 seconds, right? Okay. In that sand funnel, it's going to hold the water back for a long time and you're going to over extract and you're going to get really bitter, dry, and astringent qualities. Okay. So your grind is too fine, your shot's pulling longer than 30 seconds. So that's the easiest way to think of it, right? Just 20 to 30 seconds, if it's outside of that window, adjust your grind to be in that box. Okay. Okay. Right? okay. okay. So now you've got your grind, you've got, you've measured it out, how do you tamp it? So tamping it, you want to do something called distribution. So the first thing, so we've pre-ground this coffee, normally you want to grind fresh, right? You, you tend to lose a lot of what are called volatile aromatics within about 30 seconds of grinding, so try to grind fresh. But if you have this situation, what we want to do is move any of these hills down into the valleys. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to knock gently on the side of the, of the porta filter, just moving it around so it's, until it's relatively flat. And now I want to see if I can break up into these boulders and get the coffee to sit deeper in the basket. So I'm going to put my thumb and forefinger on the top of the bottom here, and I'm just going to tap lightly on the edge. So see it's a bit more powdery, mm -hmm. it's a softer mm -hmm. texture. Now you're going to take your tamp, rest it on top, 
feel to see if it's kind of level and flush all the way around. And this is kind of the weird part. You have to kind of get your hip at a weird angle because the idea is you want to put your elbow above your wrist, above your hand, and go straight down, right? Oh. So we're tamping straight down until it resists. So think about when you crush cardboard, right? There's a lot of give and then it suddenly stops. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what you're looking for with a tamp. Just it okay. presses and then you can't press anymore and you've okay. reached 30 pounds. Okay, we have about 30 seconds, so I want okay, to get so to making twist the, it. the peats. So we'll pop it in here. I'm going to set it up here and I'm going to weigh my shot because I want to make sure that I'm brewing the correct amount. So again, oh. we're looking for a certain weight. So weighing your shots is really critical. Good. We'll start the brew. And you time. want that to be about 36? You said 30. Yeah, so 36. Normally, I'm trying to get 42 out of this coffee. That's just because that's how we like Trace Banderas. But you would normally want to have a timer going too to make sure that you're brewing oh. round about that 20th or second window. I know from brewing a few minutes ago, this should end right around um, 25, 26 seconds. Yeah. So that's our 42-ish gram shot. And that's what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, oh, I bet it's not That's incredible. The number, it is a science, yeah. my goodness. It really and is. by yeah. the way, I want to tell everybody, they also, Crema has classes, which we are going to be joining because yeah. we got to remember this stuff and learn it properly. Yeah. Thank you You're so welcome. much. So check them us. out for their classes. Warm your soul with a cup of joe from one of the Crema Coffee Roasters locations. Sign up to join those courses. Go to crema-coffee.com. Calm.